You may or may not know about the Florentine sandwich, the focaccia style bread with meat, cheese, veg, all from Tuscany in it. They are super delicious, and very famous here in Florence. And this place, all Antico Vignal, has four sites here, 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 and here. Literally, there's four of them. The owner of this place has over 650,000 followers on Instagram. There's a lot of press, a lot of hype. But in this film, I want to show you two sandwich shops here in Florence that are just as good, if not better. They're shorter queues, lower prices, and I don't know, less hype. Which I prefer. Pino's is a sandwich shop that's been here for over 30 years. Woo! Run by a guy called Pino and his family. He's got a very lovely smile and he makes fresh, beautiful Tuscan sandwiches. That, my friend, is a cue. Well, look at that. And I haven't done that, that wasn't me. That was there when we arrived. Top Jaw Special. And people have been ordering it. How fun is that? Top Jaw Special, Pino, let's go. Let's go. Pochetta, smoked cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, bash, bash, bash. Oh my God, take ages. Onions, spicy, and garlic sauce. Voila, bravo. This is your sandwich. Thank you, Martina. Right, big chunky pochetta, melted smoked cheese, their spicy marinara sauce, garlic sauce, onions, and sun-dried tomatoes. Cheers. Cheers, man. Mm, mm, mm. That is good. I feel fresh as a daisy. This is actually my bad side, I have a rash. Some of the Florentine sandwiches are not served as toasters. Some are a lot softer, just like that fresh baked bread. But I like the toast. You are looking at the first sandwich that Pino ever created from this shop in 1991. It's called The Best. So when people come in asking, oh, what's the best sandwich? They just point to this one on the menu. Roast beef, melted smoked cheese, spinach, roasted bell peppers, aubergine, spicy marinara sauce. It tastes so Italian, and that's a stupid thing to say, but it is. Okay, that was our introduction to Florentine sandwiches. And I feel like, you know, we've learned to drive in a Ferrari. We've had the best of the best. We also skipped the queues. <laughs> Um, sorry, thanks. And Martina and Pino, oh, want to go like to a barbecue around the house? Is that weird? Thanks, no, so. This is what I'm talking about, right? Used to be an old haberdasher's tiny little unit. Now it is a sandwich shop with sandwich chic making Tuscan sandwiches. Um, hello. Good morning. Good morning. The meat's all cut fresh for the sandwiches. They don't just lay out. And that makes all the difference. And a lot of the spreads, like the vegetable spreads, they make themselves. Like these guys. Artichoke spread. Pepper spread. Should I keep going? Okay, so there's no seating inside, but why would we want to? When we have this, Will, glorious. They don't have like names, they just list all the ingredients up on the board. This one has... <laughs> uh, this one has the Florentine salami, red pepper jam, and local melted cheese. I mean, this one you have the Parmigiana, Coca-Cola ham, and some balsamic glaze. That looks so up my street. Oh, man. And the bread's so soft, but it's got a nice crunch to it, you know? Oh, man, it's so good. Come on, get your chops around that. It's so good. This really slaps as well. Very well groomed. That's it. Superb. I mean, I love them both. The red pepper jam, really. Yeah. I like that one most popular. Is that one of the most yeah, popular? Yeah. Oh, I thought I was going to be different, you know? Classic, yeah, it's fantastic. Get that one. Oh, no. Glorious. Glorious. Had like a bit of a mid-afternoon shed, you know? Throw some water down, reset that temperature. Like we're in Barbados or something. I just like, imagine they developed something where, yeah, the rain was, if the rain came down the day, they'd just capture it. So everyone could just go about their day. And then at night, they'd just dump it. You mind signing like, this NDA, mate? Just want to make sure that doesn't go anywhere. So all the plants and stuff will still get their juice, but we wouldn't get annoyed. There you have it, two of our favorite sandwich shops here in Florence. If you know of any others, I'm sure you do, let us know in the comments, we wanna hear. And subscribe, baby.